Welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. My name is Bridget Rooks and I'm recording live in the Creative Vibe Studios. Listen, if you are new and just tuning in, we are in week three of the Better Me Challenge. I am challenging myself to be a better version of me in 75 days. We are on week three, day 21. And yeah, being 51, getting all of the things together in your mind can be difficult and balancing menopause and wondering what's going to happen next can be difficult but we have faith we have courage and we also have a little clarity this past week so join me as we dive into what happened last week on week three hey guys it is another week of mindset resets and transformation. I hope that you had a fantastic week last week and that you're ready for a new one, right? Sometimes you just got to breathe. This week, this Mindset Monday, we are talking about transition. We're talking about making decisions during transition and how can your mindset, your positivity, the negativity, the optimist, like how can you really take time slow down and think positively about the future if you don't know what it holds. How do we do that? We have to have hope, we have to have faith, and we have to believe. So what I want you to do this Mindset Monday is think about ways that you can start believing in yourself and your future. Here we go. Okay, so I'll be honest that some of this is hard for me to talk about just because it's it's been a long journey, right? And when you're being transparent and uh, wanting to really encourage and help other people to uh, find their place in this world that we live in, it is important for us to share our experiences so that you can trust that we've been through something that you may be going through, that you can take away some of these life-changing aha moments and put them into place in your life. So I just was sitting here thinking, has it been two years? No, three years ago, three long years ago, which seemed like forever. I was in Atlanta and my daughter and I got to a point, this this is right after the pandemic. So 2020 was coming to an end. Is that right? 2020 pandemic was March, 2020. That's when everything really shut down. So the end of 2020, yes, I published my first book. So in the midst of all the chaos, I pushed myself to get this book out because I was going to, I had decided and dedicated to myself that I was going to publish my book and tell my 10 year journey from leaving corporate America to starting my own business and how I did that by the time I was 50, right? So transition is crazy. Time flies when you are being molded and twisted and turned into a better version of yourself, right? So when I turned 40, light bulb hit, everything I had to unlearn, life was crazy, yada, 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 10 years. Okay, so 49, pandemic. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get this book done early because I'm home, I'm doing this, where life is crazy enough. Let me put this challenge to the test and publish my book. So for my 49th birthday, I published my first book, Created to Win, right? Talking about the entrepreneur lifestyle that it takes and the mindset that it takes in order to change your whole future, right? To make a tough decision that will bring you from one place to a new place, right? So that's what I did. And now, as you know, I'm 51. So it's only been a short period of time, right? Three years. <laughs> After the 2021, in that summer, my daughter and I, like times were hard. Business was not great. I had a really, really tough time with clients, mistrusting, disrespect, and a lot of things. But life was crazy for everybody. So I don't have, it took me a while to get over that. I'll be honest. Like it really, I was hurt. And I was disappointed in going down that rabbit hole of why did I work so hard to do all these things, to publish this book, to tell my story, only to have to not have a business anymore. Like, what? Truth story. Truth to the story is everything happens for a reason. So I, at the time, was also still dealing with a very hurt and broken spirit and broken heart from a relationship that... 
I still ponder like, what was I thinking? <laughs> you know, when you look back and you're like, gosh, if I could just shake you and be like, no, then that's what I would have done. But you live and you learn. And I am the kind of person who is super loyal. I am dedicated and I am a believer. Like I believe in the goodness of people. I believe that things will have a good, happy ending. And something I'm working on is to not be so trustworthy and not put all of my effort into something I'm not getting effort back or reciprocated feelings, all of those good things. So you'll growth process, right? So we decided to move. Jalen and her boyfriend were moving to Texas. And I'm like, you know what? My brother and sister-in-law were like, hey, come on down to Florida. We love it here. You're going to love it here. We're going to get three bedroom apartments. It's going to be amazing. Fantastic. Packed up. I'm proving to myself that I can make this journey. I can do these things and it's going to be great. Business is going to change when I get down there. I have my mindset together to make all of this happen, right? To start my business all the way over, get some new clients, change my direction, do what I needed to do in order to survive the pandemic for a, as an entrepreneur, right? Without going against the grain and trying to find a job and just working anywhere and just doing little bits and pieces to, to stay alive. I just couldn't do that. So I poured everything into my business to revamping my services, to outlining, to creating online courses, to drafting and drawing and creating digital eBooks to working on a 30 day journal, like all the things, right? So that they tell you to do, <laughs> do the podcast, do the YouTube, do all like I've done that. Right. And timing is everything. So I was in Tampa. My daughter was in Florida in, in Texas, Tampa for a year and things didn't really get great. They didn't get better. Business was still really, really challenging, and I had to spend every single dollar I made to pay for rent, right? I'm thinking I'm doing a great thing. Now it's time for me to be independent. I'm empty nesting, all of that. And I was not making enough money to even feed myself to live, right? Of course, I have a fantastic family, so there's no, I never had to like be technically homeless or really like not have food because I'm always going to be grateful to my family that will take care of me. And my ability to use my brain to make money really enforced a lot of the things that I was doing too, because I have the confidence that what I do and what I bring to the table and who I am and my experiences can help other people. So having hope and believing in yourself, even when it's hard, when there's no money, <laughs> when the, the the lifestyle that you want, you see it around you from everybody else and they're happy and they're living and they're thriving. And you're like, what am I doing wrong? Let me tell you, you have to slow down. And that's where I decided that I couldn't stay in Tampa anymore and continue to drive myself into the ground mentally and complete burnout and it just wasn't where I wanted to be. Like it, I wasn't happy inside. Like I can be grateful and like, but as a whole person who's dealing with heartbreak and disappointment and an entrepreneur, single solo entrepreneur trying to make it happen, it's hard. So if you fall into any of those buckets, take some time for yourself. I'm going to just say this now because we're going to get into, you know, where we are on the better me challenge where things are much better, but it's been three years, right? So after a year in Tampa, I stayed there, moved back home with my parents. I was in denial for a year, for a year, for months and months and months because I'm like, okay, so I'll be single forever if I keep telling people I live at home with my parents and I'm 50 years old. Like what? It's just crazy. So trying to compromise with my peace of mind, my heart, and slow down, make money, like all of the things were coming at me left and right. And it's hard to have a vision, to know you can implement and do all the things, but still be three steps behind or catch up quickly and then fall all the way down. It's tough. And I want you to know that you have to keep going, right? One of my models is just keep going. It doesn't matter. And I heard something today that was awesome. It's And it was a guy talking about productivity and getting over the fear of doing something. You have to take 
write this down, in perfect action. And that's what I encourage you guys to do too. I thought that was awesome. I said, imperfect action is just doing something, keeping the system going, keeping your process in place, doing something for yourself and being consistent. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? Things change, life changes, and you have to be prepared to shift and pivot in order to get where you're going, right? Because we're on this journey. And I was thinking about this after moving back last summer. Was it last summer? I still keep these days are all crazy. So last year, moved back, was here with my parents, and my dad fell on 4th of July, which is coming up. It's almost been a year, and broke his femur bone. So I took it as a my I'm the oldest sibling. I'm I'm able to travel. I'm able to be here. I am going to stay here. So that was a good reasoning in my mind to say, hey, you know, I'm staying with my parents to help take care of them. Right. Not because I am a failure and my business is not great. And, you know, I don't have a husband. None of that. Just the fact that I can. And I had to take on that mindset because God said that's what I could do. And I'm in the right place to do that. So that's what I've been doing. I've been here. And I've been able to go back and forth from wherever I want to be in the world. As you know, I was just in Houston for three months this year to be with my daughter. So that she can prepare to move back to Atlanta. And that's where we are. So full circle You have to really believe that where you are, even when it's hard and when it sucks, is where you need to be so that you can mentally process and prepare for what's next. And I want to encourage you guys to take this Better Me Challenge seriously if you're going to try it, even if it's for 14 days, even if it's for 30 days. What do you need to focus on to become the best version of yourself, to regain your confidence, to get things back on track, to get outside and exercise, get some fresh air, change your routine? I have done that. Today is day 22, 23, 21, 22, which is my favorite number, right? It's my lucky number. It's my birthday number. So I am really excited about how things always align and the signs are out there to keep you going on your track forward, right? And this is not to say you don't ever need a downtime because when I tell you, when my dad fell, I had like two customers, two customers, two clients, and I was making maybe like three, four hundred dollars a month. What am I supposed to do with that? I got to run, keep my websites up, my emails and all of the functionality that I need in order to run my business. It was hard and I wanted to quit. I wanted to give up, but I didn't. I kept working behind the scenes on all the things that make my business run successfully now, right? And I'm so grateful. Having patience, having peace of mind and the confidence in your purpose It's what's going to help you see the future without knowing the future, right? That's how you have faith in everything that you do, because there's going to be tough times. There's going to be really great times. And there's going to be some times where you just want to give up. You just want to throw your hand up. And I want you to know that that's okay, that you can sit down, take a break, If that break is for an hour, if it's for a week and you need to, you're about to burn out, no need to burn out when you know that you can take a break. You can hit reset and you can prepare mentally for the next phase, whatever you need to do to shift and pivot what's happening in your life. And I hope that makes sense. So needless to say, week three, last week, since we spoke last was amazing, right? I had a lot of clarity on some big decisions that I needed to make. Some things magically happened that I was not expecting to have taken off of my plate financially. And, you know, God is just good. So I want to encourage you, I can't say this enough, to just keep going and to continue to have the faith and continue to trust in your gifts and share your expertise and be out in the world. As you know, I'm trying to do that more too, because it's hard when you've been set back, when you've been depressed, when you've been disappointed to get out and do the things and live life to the fullest. So 
I hope this encourages you on this Mindset Monday to really breathe in and have faith and be confident to believe in your future.